never could imagine Never thought you could have it You Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming back with another makeup tutorial and this look is inspired by fall. I know it's a little bit early but pumpkin spice latte is back so why not make a makeup tutorial for fall. And I did dye my hair back to my natural hair color and I did get some 5 inches off because my hair was so damaged and I cannot maintain the blonde or I don't even know if it was blonde. <laughs> Anyways. But I am in the process of growing up my hair if you guys wanted to know. I hope this makeup tutorial helps you and I think this look is perfect for getting some pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. So yeah, I'm actually wearing contact lenses by Lumi Lens and it's in the color Batiste Gray. I link down below where I got my contacts from and also you can use my discount code Jemima Lin for 5% off your purchase. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you would like more makeup tutorial videos and if you want to follow me in all my social media it's at Jemima Lin for Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm going to start off with a clean face. I don't have any makeup on but I did moisturize my face with the Clinique moisturizing lotion and this is the dry combination and then I moisturize my lips with the Aquaphor lip repair. So now I'm going to spread my face with the Mario Badisco skincare facial spray and this is the rose water spray and it smells really good. For my foundation I'm using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte foundation and it's in the shade 210 and I think that's warm or somewhere in the range of the olive tone so I'm just gonna shake this and I'm going to use my let me find it okay I found my beauty sponge and it's from Sonia Kashuk take like a pump of it and I'm going to put it all over my face For my concealer, I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, and I think this is the Honey Medium Beige, I think. So I'm going to use this under my eyes, and just everywhere I have blemishes. Then I'm going to bake my eyes with the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and it's in the shade Banana. And I'm going to sprint this, um, I don't know, this little sponge I got from Walmart. It was like a dollar or so. While I'm setting that in, I'm going to use the Hula Benefit Bronzer and it's going to bronze my face with a Morphe brush. These are the vegan set and this one does not not have a number on it so I think it's just like a medium fluffy brush and I'm going to use that under my cheeks. going to contour my forehead because my forehead is really huge in this little brush it's a crease brush and it's from eco tool little techniques brush and it's the contour brush but I'm gonna just use this to dust off all the powder and I'm gonna take the leftovers and just brush it on the t-zone because I get really oily in those spots. I'm actually going to bake more um, under my cheekbones to make the bronzer look sharp. For blush, I'm using the Tarte blush and it's in the shade Party. This is really pretty pink. Okay, so we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to prep my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot 
and soap ochre and I'm just gonna spray that with the Bidisco spray water just because it gets really dry easily also I'm gonna use the Tarte concealer brush I feel like I should zoom in I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you guys can see Okay, so I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm going to take this color. It's called Raw Sienna. And I'm using this brush that came with the palette. I'm just going to use that all over my crease area. Black brush. And it's from the Morphe Vegan Brush Set. I'm going to take the color... Cypress is it Cypress? I don't know but this dark brown color is called Cypress Umber. I'm just gonna put that in the outer V of the eyes just to darken up the eyes oh I have some fallout already I should have done this before I put my foundation in <laughs> I'm also going to put that in the inner corner of the eyes. I have to be careful with this eyeshadows because they're so pigmented. In the middle of the eyes, I'm going to take Soap Ochre MAC Paint Pot again. And I'm going to take this flat brush. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Can you see it? Okay. Um, I'm using this brush from Morphe brushes also and lightly pack it on the middle of the eyes flat brush but this one has like a U shape onto it and I'm gonna sprint that with the rose water just to pick up more pigmented from oh my gosh that rose water just got in my mouth <laughs> so it could be more pigmented when I pick up this shimmer eyeshadow so I'm gonna take the color I'm going to take the color V mirror this is a champagne color shade I don't know if you can see it it's right there and lightly pack it on where you put the concealer I'm taking the previous brush, what I used for the Cypress Umber, and I'm just gonna lightly blend those colors so it does not look harsh. Then we're gonna go back with the Raw Sienna and uh, just blend the crease more so it does not look harsh. So the fun part, we're going to line our eyes with the Kat Von D liquid liner. You can use any black eyeliner you prefer, but this is my all-time favorite liquid liner. Look, I think I'm going to go for the wing liner and it's kind of hard to like show you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> For the bottom liner, I'm going to take the dark brown from that palette. I'm just going to put that under my water line. I usually use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but I left that in my dorm. So I'm just going to use this mascara. So I put on lashes and I did my eyebrows off camera. If you guys want to know how I do my lashes and my eyebrows let me know in the comment section below and I'm definitely would make a video for you guys and I actually used the Arda Wispies lashes these are my favorite all time so for my lips I think I'm gonna go for a, a darker neutral color I'm gonna use the Maybelline lipstick color in 660 touch of spice but I'm gonna lip I'm gonna line my lips first with the Milani um, 09 Spice shade and I'm just gonna line my lips so 
I really have small lips and I do like bigger lips so I'm just gonna overline my lips how big the difference are I wish I could get a lip injection but I don't got money for that so I use a matte lip liner highlight my face with the champagne pop by Becca but first I'm going to spray my face with the NYX matte finish spray this fan and spraying it with the same spray Do you guys see that glow? Oh my god. That is it for my fall makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next makeup video.